tutorial, we're going to look at how we can load data into Gretl. So this is what Gretl looks like when we first open it. We have no data file loaded and we can see no real information here. There's a number of ways of loading data into Gretl. The most straightforward way is to use the drop down options. So we'll show more advanced ways which become more useful later on. So first of all, we select file and open data. And in this case, we can select user file or sample file. User file lets us pick any file from our actual computer. Sample file are some sample data sets that come with Gretl. So let us select user file. And once we've selected user file, we can navigate using our places option anywhere on our computer to select the file. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to load in an Excel file. So we want to check in the bottom right hand corner, is the Excel file tab open? So you can see a number of different options here for the types of files you have, we want to make sure it's Excel files. And once we have Excel files selected and we navigate to the correct location of where we've saved our sample data, we should be able to see chapter one wage data dot XLSX. Now, what we're going to do is we can double click this or we can click open in the bottom right. So I'm just going to click open. Now it'll ask us, where do you want to start your import from? And we're going to default to column one, row one. So this basically means from the very top left corner of your Excel document, we're going to take in all the data and not exclude any. So we could start this at different rows or different columns if we so wished. So I'm just going to leave it at the default of column one, row one and click OK. And now we're being asked, the imported data has been interpreted as up undated, cross-sectional. Do you want to give the data a time series or panel interpretation? Now, in this case, the data we're working with is cross-sectional in nature. So it's one snapshot of a survey at one point in time. So this is correct to interpret it as cross-sectional. We don't want to give it a time series component or a panel component. So in this instance, when it asks, do you want to give the data a time series or panel interpretation, we're going to click no, we don't. We want to be left as cross-sectional. And once we've done that, what we can see is that our data has been loaded in. We can see our variables. So we've got wage, female, non-white, union, education, experience, and age. All our data has been imported into uh, Gretel, okay, with our variable lists. So that's our data actually loaded in. Okay, So once we have our data imported into Gretel, we can now perform some different types of analysis. So at this point, try to load your data into Gretel and get to this stage.